Hello children, good morning everyone. Welcome to Online Max Plus. Children, in the previous video, we already learned Indian Place Value System and International Place Value System. Okay, once again I want to recall those points. Indian System and International System. Indian System is also known as Hindu Arabic System and International System is also known as English System. Am I right? In Indian system, totally we have nine places. Is it true? Say yes or no? Yes. See, in Indian system, how many places are there? Totally nine places are there. What are those? These are ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore, and ten crore. These are the nine places. Comes under Indian system. Okay, everyone, why about this chart? Okay, in Indian system, totally we have nine places. They are ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore, ten crore. Coming to the international system. In this system also, we have nine places. They are Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Do you observe one thing here? In Indian system, after ten thousand, we get lakh. But in international system, after ten thousand, we get hundred thousand. Do you clear that? Okay. After hundred thousand, we get new place value. We have to remember million, ten million, and hundred million. Do you clear? Million, ten million, hundred million. Okay. In both the system, we have nine places. So these nine places again separated into four groups in Indian system, three groups in international system. Come on. In Indian system, these are the nine places are again divided into how many groups? Four groups. It means four periods. It means four periods. Clear? Again. Now, international system, these are the nine places again. Divided into three periods. Let us see what are. See, in Indian system, the nine places are separated into four groups. It means four periods. Periods means nothing but a group of number. So they are ones period, thousands period, lakhs period, and crore period. Clear? Once period, thousand period, lakh period, and crore period. So, in these four periods, once period has three places. Once period has how many places? Three places. Once, tens, hundred. It has three places. Once, tens, hundred. Coming to the next period, thousand. Thousand period it has two places thousand ten thousand coming to lakh here also two places lakh ten lakh these two places belongs to lakh period coming to crore ten crore again these two places comes under crore period okay in the once period it has three places remaining periods has two to two places. Clear? Coming to the international system. These nine places again divided into how many groups? Three groups. Am I right? Yes. They are one period, thousand period and million period. In international system, these nine places again divided into three periods. Once, Thousand and million. Okay, let us see. 
how many places are there in each group? In the ones group, how many places are there? Ones, tens, hundred. How many places? Yes, he has three places. Coming to here, thousand. How many places are here? One, two, three. It means thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. These three places comes under thousand period. Coming to the after hundred thousand, which place here? Yes, million, ten million, hundred million. These three places comes under millions period. Be clear? In international system, in each group has three three places. Coming to the Indian system, here four groups. In the land system, here three groups. In one superior has three places. In international system, one superior also has three places. So up to one superior as it is. Coming to the next period, here thousand period. Thousand, ten thousand. Here also there thousands period. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Here only two places. In international system, thousands period has three places. Do you observe here? Yes. Coming to the lakhs period, here lakh, ten lakh comes in the lakh period. But after thousand, which period is here? Millions period. That's why children. Everyone must know the Indian system and international system. You have to learn one or more times. If you know the place value chart, then you can write the uh, numbers names very easily. Then you know how to commas in proper place. If you see the number, then you recognize very easily. It is in the Indian system or international system. That's why you have to learn this chart. Okay, then you know what are the places in Indian system and international system. What are the values? I wrote the values also here. Place values also here. So, what are the similarities here? Up to in Indian system, up to 10,000 place. In Indian system, up to 10,000 place. Once you get here, once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Coming to the international system. Once tens, hundred thousand, ten thousand. Up to ten thousand in both the system, the place values are same. Isn't it? Now, once everybody will get here, after ten thousand in Indian system, one lakh, see here, one lakh. Exactly, in this one lakh, this value is similar to the hundred thousand. See, it means the value of one lakh equal to hundred thousand. The value of one lakh equal to, tell me, hundred thousand. Do you observe here? Up to 10,000 in both the system, the values are same. See here, 1 lakh in international system equal to 100,000. Let us write the value 1 lakh. In 1 lakh, how many zeros here? 1 followed by 5 zeros. 100,000. Simply we write 100, comma, 1000. 1000 means how many zeros? Three zeros. Here names are different. But the value of C. 1 lakh equal to 100,000. Next coming to 10 lakh equal to. In international system. The place 10 lakh equal to. In international system which place is equal to. 10 lakh equal to million. Which place is similar? 10 lakh equal to million. If you say million in international system, we say 10 lakh in Indian system. Do you know the difference? Okay. 10 lakh means simply we write 10. Lakh means how many zeros? 5 zeros. Am I right? Million. Million means we have to write 1 comma 0.
0, 0, comma, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Next, crow equal to 10 million. In Indian system, one crow equal to in international system, 10 million. See, the value right there. One crore. How many zeros we get? Yes, you are right. One comma zero zero comma zero zero comma zero zero zero. It means one comma but seven zeros. Ten millions. First simply you write ten comma. Million means you already know how many zeros we get. Yes, six. Zero 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 comma zero zero zero. Next coming to 10 crore. 10 crore equal to in international system 10 crore equal to 100 million. 100 million. These are the similarities. Let us see 10 crore the value. 10 comma crore means I already said. How many zeros we get? Yes, seven zeros. Hundred million. Simply write hundred after keep a comma. Million means how many zeros we get? Yes, six zeros. Okay, do you understand, children? Up to ten thousands place, the values are same. If the names also same in both the system. After 10,000 place in Indian system, we call it as lakh. But in international system, after 10,000, we call it as 100,000. It means the value is same, but here the name will be changed and also if you keep a commas according to the periods. Isn't it? In Indian system, as per the periods, we instead the commas. It means what is the use? To divide these places into four periods, because when you are reading the, uh, when you are writing the number, it means uh, when you are expanded, okay. When you keep a commas, then you know the place values very easily. When you insert the commas in between the numbers, if you read the number very easily. That's why everyone by for this system and also you have to know the similarities. It means 1 lakh equal to in international system which place is equal. 1 lakh equal to 100,000. 10 lakh equal to million. Crore equal to 10 million. 10 crore equal to 100 million. While you are keeping the commas as per the periods. Okay. In the previous session I already explained how to keep commas. I am I taking one example and I will explain how to keep commas and how to read the number, how to write the number names. Now again, today we are discuss about how to keep commas in proper places and how to write the number names by using this chart. Do you understand? Okay. Everyone look at the board. Note down this chart carefully. I want to take two examples and I will explain how to keep commas in proper place and how to write the number names. Everyone know that. Put commas in Proper places and write the number names. Today we are discuss about the new topic is how to keep commas in few proper places and how to write the number names. Okay. In both the system, Indian system. International system. International system. Everyone know.
only one book chamber. Commas in proper places. 
According to the international system, how many places we have? Nine places. Yes. Once tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million. When you are uh, writing the number name, first of all, you have to write the place values of the given number. Now tell me what are the place values according to the international system. You have to look at the chart and tell me. Once, tens, hundred, after that thousand. Very good. Then ten thousand. After ten thousand. Yes, hundred thousand. After ten thousand, hundred thousand. So, as per the periods, we insert the commas in between the numbers. Here, in the national system, one stands hundred in which group? Yes, one's group. One stands hundred in which group? One's group. So, you finished one's period. So, immediately you put a comma. After that, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, thousand, ten thousand. Hundred thousand. These three places comes under which period? Yes, thousands period. How to read this number? We do not read this number separately. See, period means group of number. We read number together. How to read this number? One, two, four. Simply we read one hundred and twenty-four. We read like that. At the same, we read as. One hundred twenty-four. This number in which period? Thousands period. So let us start the number name. One thousand. Sorry, one hundred. One hundred twenty-four. Sorry. Look at here. One hundred, one hundred twenty-four thousand. Come on, say one hundred and twenty-four thousand. One hundred twenty-three. One hundred twenty three. Once again, everyone look at the board. See, in international system, first of all, we write the place values of given number. Once it is hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So in international system. As per the periods, we insert the comma in between the number. How it is? Once it is hundred in once period. So after once period, we put a comma. After hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. These three places comes under thousands period. So we read the number together and write one hundred twenty-four thousand one hundred. Twenty-three, one hundred and twenty-four thousand and one hundred and twenty-three. Okay, Indian system also. We keep a comma as per the periods here also. Then you know how to write the number in Indian system and international system. Okay, children. Okay. After this class, I will send three examples to you. Everyone, try to do. Note down in one pic, uh, one book, and send the pic to me. Okay, children. Goodbye, everyone.